What's going on guys? Preston here from Xtrades. And today we are going to be talking about contract selection or contract expiry selection uh, based upon chart and how long you expect it to take for your play to um, hit your profit take. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be using the Apple chart here. Um, but so let's say I'm just gonna go by like time frames, depending on try to hit on like what every time frame, uh, like the usual ones that people would trade on. So starting off on a smaller time frame with the one hour. Um, let's say you're looking at this hourly chart for Apple here back in what is this late May. And you're pretty much just we've gone through this one cycle of okay, we kind of got support figured out here. We got resistance right here, kind of like a profit take area in the middle right here. So we're going uh, just one to two day swings, uh, maybe like weeklies. Um, but yeah, so let's say you're looking at this chart right here, and you pretty much want to continue trading this channel. You're seeing this. You're seeing the bounce off support. You're seeing a little bit of resistance here around 126, and then ultimate res ultimate resistance at 127.75. So what you're going to want to do is pretty much you're going to be trading weeklies. Um, so if we're, oh, I got it pretty much pulled up here. Um, so we're looking at around in May, sometime around there. So you would want to be trading uh, either like two weeks out. It's a monthly. Sometimes those will get better uh, volume and open interest. You can see here back, back in around that time um, in this area, like 120s, it was pretty much, yeah, so we're looking at 126, 127.75, and we were near the bottom of the channel here. You can see 123, this is like um, on demand. So it's pretty much live uh, from that day, May 12th, 2021, of when we were uh, around this area. So, Anyways, going back to here, you can see there's some volume because we're near the bottom of that channel. So there's some volume picking up here for like the 126, 127 strike price. So what these people are looking for and what you would be looking for is that you're trading a weekly. You expect like one hold one to three days maybe. Um, so you're just getting that weekly contract and you're looking for the bounce off support to get up to here. Nothing big scheme, uh, just profit take one right here in the middle, profit take two with maybe leave some runners, but I would assume like just all out here and it's pretty much sell, first sell here and then runners to sell here. But that's from like an hourly standpoint, you're trading weeklies. Um, you can't really get a good grasp of like the long term to where you're trading like monthlies or leaps. So Carrying on, let's say we're looking at the uh, daily chart here. Zoom out. And let me turn off on demand because at this point we're getting to where we are today. So let's say you were looking at the daily chart here and you would actually be able to notice that here is where we were in um, what I was just showing on the hourly chart. You can see we're kind of forming a base here um haven't been down here since early april and so kind of expecting this to hold uh this this support is fairly notorious i mean we got some we're slipping under here but it comes back and so that's what you're seeing here on the daily and on the multiple tests got a couple daily candles that hit it bounce off and so you're seeing this on the daily chart and you think, oh, like this thing's going to pop soon, like for sure. And you're in at this point around like mid May, late May, getting into June. And so you think, OK, like this could this could base for which base would be if it just like stayed in this channel. But it's like loading up for that pop. And, but you're, you're expecting like the big the big pop. Then you'd be looking at maybe a monthly, but I would go with. Like something in at, at this point, we're in like early or uh, late May. So you'd be looking at like August maybe. Um, 
And pretty much like it's going to cost you extra premium. Um, at this point, we're in July, so it's a little cheaper. But back then, it would have been more expensive. In I guess we could pull it up. So let's see. We were in. Let's go back to on demand here. And then, okay. So that's, let's go here. Go. And then we're looking at. So we're pretty much looking at August uh, just to play it safe, you know, because July 16th now would be pushing it with we just got to all time high and you're expecting like, all right, like we're going to break out. It's going to go far and you're putting in some good premium, like a good amount or for your account size, like you're getting a good position in there. Then you're going to want to look at three months out, two months out if you're expecting something good to happen. And so we're looking here at May 26th. Um, I'm in on the West Coast. So this is two hours into the trading day. And you can see that there's there's some good open interest. Volume is what it would be usually for um, more of like a leap contract. It's about three months out at this point. So we're seeing you could get one, a 130 uh, strike price call for Apple on this day at five for about 495 um 495 dollars per contract and you're around like 127 so we're right at this resistance right around here like we're pretty much getting up there so you're you're watching it you think it's going to break out and you get in and so that was the 130 strike price in august 20th 130 you're looking at 500 and we're down here so now let's say like you you got in because you know that that's going to happen now what are we looking at 130 now you're at 1615 per contract and so that just shows how i mean one looking at a bigger time frame whether it's like the weekly chart daily chart or even the uh, four hour chart it can help you like notice these big moves whereas if you're just on the um hourly chart not necessarily looking at like this stuff on the right but you know like you can kind of tell there's something but for here it's you're just looking at um like channel trading and you're trading weeklies which are fine uh definitely like some big moves can can make you some some good money but you want to look for the the bigger moves uh I, i'm sure all of us do so that's pretty much what we're looking at here for daily. Um, weekly is where you can kind of see bigger trends. Where's the chart? Um, hold on. What the heck? Um, okay. So weekly we could see here that we're kind of in a up and then now it's sort of um flagging in a way you could say yeah you could say that we're we're sort of flagging and so at this point you could go like pretty far out with the weekly and we're looking at some far out contracts and if you're looking at a weekly chart like each one of these candles is a week and so your expiry is not going to be you're not going to be playing a weekly because you're basically playing one one of these candles you can't take a trade based off of that and so you would want to go a good like uh, uh, like six months out or so we're looking at i mean not not getting into january um although there's nothing wrong with it if you see like this this kind of chart you're like all right like we got a little trend going on here some, something like that and then we got obviously the um this right here so it's like an ascending triangle kind of and so this breakout is going to be all-time high one and two it, it's going to get some good momentum going because it's apple and we we even in the chat room we've been talking about just waiting for this breakout for a while and so you would go with an expiry like if we're in we're in july 11th now so maybe like looking at september or October and looking at like a 160 kind of contract. So you can see, yeah, we got some good volume there, a uh, good open interest. And then if we're looking at September, 
It's a little closer, so maybe like a 155 kind of contract. So there we go, 27,000. Um, but yeah, still a good volume on the 160s for sure. So people are people are noticing, and uh, that's just what you want to be looking for. So our, uh, to summarize what I just talked about, you're looking at hourly is going to be like weeklies, um, short shorter term kind of like lotto plays, not necessarily like not necessarily that, but those those shorter term like let's get a good move play. Um, and then when you're looking at the daily chart, four hour chart, you're going to be trading monthlies because you have better data and you can like see a breakout coming. You can see a base and see that, okay, like I think we're going to break out here. And then when you're looking at a weekly, you get stuff like this where it's like an overall just the long term trend is about to break out and it's going to be big, but you don't know when it'll break out because we could reject this resistance, go back down to the trend line and get back up. So you want to go like a couple months out so that you're safe and you're fronting some good premium or some good capital for that premium. So you're going to want to be protected with far out expiration dates.